Dinosuchus from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Dinosuchus is an extinct relative of the alligator that lived 80 to 73 mega annum million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. The name translates as terrible crocodile and is derived from the Greek dinos, terrible, and sukos, meaning crocodile. The first remains were discovered in North Carolina in the 1850s, but it was not until 1909 that the genus was named and described. Additional fragments were discovered in the 1940s and were later incorporated into an influential, though inaccurate, skull reconstruction at the American Museum of Natural History. Knowledge of Dinosuchus remains incomplete, but better cranial material found in recent years has expanded scientific understanding of this massive predator. Although Dinosuchus was far larger than any modern crocodile or alligator, measuring up to 12 metres and weighing up to 8.5 metric tonnes, its overall appearance was fairly similar to its smaller relatives. It had large robust teeth that were built for crushing, and its back was covered with thick semispherical osteoderms. One study indicates that Dinosuchus may have lived for up to 50 years, growing at a similar rate to that of modern crocodilians, but maintaining this growth over a much longer period of time. Dinosuchus fossils have been found in 10 US states, as well as northern Mexico. It lived on both sides of the western interior seaway and was an opportunistic apex predator in the coastal regions of eastern North America. Dinosuchus reached its largest size in its western habitat, but the eastern populations were far more abundant. Opinion remains divided as to whether these two populations represent separate species. Dinosuchus was probably capable of killing and eating large dinosaurs. It may have also fed upon sea turtles, fish and other aquatic and terrestrial prey. Section 1. Description. Section 1.1. Morphology. Despite its massive size, the overall appearance of Dinosuchus was not considerably different from that of modern crocodilians. Dinosuchus had an alligator-like broad snout with a slightly bulbous tip. Each pair of maxilla contained four teeth, with the nearest to the tip of the snout being significantly smaller than the other two. Each maxilla, the main tooth-bearing bone in the upper jaw, contained 21 or 22 teeth. The tooth count for each dentary, tooth-bearing bone in the lower jaw, was at least 22. All the teeth were very thick and robust. Those close to the rear of the jaws were short, rounded and blunt. They appear to have been adapted for crushing rather than piercing, when the mouth was closed, only the fourth tooth of the lower jaw would have been visible. Modern American alligators with the strongest bite of any living animal have a maximum force of 9,452 newtons. By contrast, the bite force of Dinosuchus has been estimated to exceed 18,000 newtons. Even the largest and strongest theropod dinosaurs, such as Tyrannosaurus, probably had an inferior bite force to that of Dinosuchus. Dinosuchus had a secondary bony palate, which would have permitted it to breathe through its nostrils while the rest of the head remained submerged underwater. The vertebra were also articulated in a proeculous manner, meaning that they had a concave hollow on the front end and a convex bulge on the rear. These would have fit together to produce a ball and socket joint. The secondary palate and Procoelus vertebra are advanced features also found in modern Ushian crocodiles. The osteoderms 
or scutes covering the back of Dinosuchus were unusually large, heavy and deeply pitted. Some were of roughly semispherical shape. Deep pits and grooves on these osteoderms served as attachment points for connective tissues. Together, the osteoderms and connective tissues would have served as load-bearing reinforcement to support the massive body of Dinosuchus out of the water. Consequently, despite its bulk, Dinosuchus was probably almost as agile on land as its modern relatives. Section 1.2 Size Because the known remains of Dinosuchus are so fragmentary, estimates of its size have varied significantly. In 1954, Edward H. Colbert and Richard T. Bird reconstructed the lower jaw of Dinosuchus with a length of 2 metres and calculated on the basis of comparative measurements that the crocodilian's total body length could have been up to 15 metres. A much lower estimate, 8 to 10 metres, was given by Gregory M. Erickson and Christopher A. Brochu in 1999. David R. Schwimmer noted in 2002 that this smaller and more common form of Dinosuchus found in eastern North America usually had skulls about one meters long. Using an equation based on skull size, Schwimmer estimated that they probably had a total body length of about eight meters and weighed 2.3 metric tons. According to Schwimmer's research, Dinosuchus reached larger sizes in the western portion of the continent. A reasonably well-preserved skull specimen discovered in Texas indicated that the animal's head measured about 1.3 meters. And from this, Schwimmer calculated a body length of 9.8 meters. Although the largest remains of Dinosuchus had skulls too poorly preserved to use his method of estimation, Scaling from vertebra indicates that some of them grew to even larger sizes. Schwimmer notes that some of the biggest specimens had total body length of up to 12 meters and perhaps weighed 8.5 metric tons, 9.4 short tons or more. Although there is disagreement as to its exact size, the fossil remains are nonetheless sufficient to indicate that Dinosuchus was substantially larger than any modern crocodile. Even the relatively low estimate provided by Erickson and Brochu suggests that the maximum weight reached by Dinosuchus exceeded that of current living species by a factor of 3 to 5. Dinosuchus has often been described as the largest crocodilian of all time, but some other crocodilia forms include Purosaurus, Ramposuchus, and Sarcosuchus may have equaled or exceeded it in size. Section 2. Paleobiology. Section 2.1. Habitat. Dinosuchus appears to have had a wide distribution throughout the United States and was present on both sides of the Western Interior Seaway. Specimens have been found in Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi, Montana, New Jersey, New Mexico, North Carolina, Texas, Utah, and Wyoming. A Dinosuchus osteoderm from the San Carlos Formation was also reported in 2006, so the giant crocodilian's range may have included parts of northern Mexico. Dinosuchus fossils are most abundant in the Gulf Coastal Plain region of Georgia, near the Alabama border. All known specimens of Dinosuchus were found in rocks that date to the Campanian stage of the Late Cretaceous period. The oldest examples of this genus lived approximately 80 mega annum, and the youngest lived around 73 mega annum. The distribution of Dinosuchus specimens indicates that these giant crocodilians may have preferred estuarine environments. In the Aguja Formation of Texas, 
where some of the largest specimens of Dinosuchus have been found, these massive predators probably inhabited brackish water bays. Although some specimens have also been found in marine deposits, it is not clear whether Dinosuchus ventured out into the ocean, like modern day saltwater crocodiles. These remains might have been displaced after the animals died. Section 2.2 Diet. In 1954, Edwin H. Colbert and Richard T. Burt speculated that Dinosuchus may very well have hunted and devoured some of the dinosaurs with which it was contemporaneous. Colbert restated this hypothesis more confidently in 1961. Certainly this crocodile must have been a predator of dinosaurs, otherwise why would it have been so overwhelmingly gigantic? It hunted in the water where the giant theropods could not go. David R. Schwimmer proposed in 2002 that several hadrosaurid tail vertebra found near the Big Bend National Park show evidence of Dinosuchus tooth marks, strengthening the hypothesis that Dinosuchus fed on dinosaurs in at least some instances. In 2003, Christopher A. Brochu did not find the tooth mark evidence to be compelling, but nonetheless agreed that Dinosuchus probably dined on ornithopods from time to time. Dinosuchus is generally thought to have employed similar hunting tactics to modern crocodilians, ambushing dinosaurs and other terrestrial animals at the water's edge and then submerging them until they drowned. Schwimmer and G. Dent Williams proposed in 1996 that Dinosuchus may have preyed on marine turtles. Dinosuchus would probably have used the robust flat teeth near the back of its jaws to crush the turtle shells. The side-necked sea turtle, Bothrymis, was especially common in the eastern habitat of Dinosuchus, and several of its shells have been found with bite marks that were most likely inflicted by the giant crocodilian. Schwimmer concluded in 2002 that the feeding patterns of Dinosuchus most likely varied by geographic location. The smaller Dinosuchus of eastern North America would have been opportunistic feeders in an ecological niche similar to that of the modern American alligator. They would have consumed marine turtles, large fish and smaller dinosaurs. The bigger but less common Dinosuchus that lived in Texas and Montana might have been more specialised hunters, capturing and eating large dinosaurs. Schwimmer noted that no theropod dinosaurs in Dinosuchus's eastern range approached its size, indicating that the massive crocodilian could have been the region's apex predator. Section 2.3 Growth Rates a 1999 study by Gregory M. Erickson and Christopher A. Brocku suggested that the growth rate of Dinosuchus was comparable to that of modern crocodilians, but was maintained over a far longer period of time. Their estimates, based on growth rings in the dorsal osteoderms of various specimens, indicate that each Dinosuchus might have taken over 35 years to reach full adult size, and that the oldest individuals may have lived for more than 50 years. This was a completely different growth strategy than that of large dinosaurs, which reached adult size much more quickly and had shorter lifespans. According to Erickson, a full-grown Dinosuchus must have seen several generations of dinosaurs come and go. Schwimmer noted in 2002 that Erickson and Brocky's assumptions about growth rates are only valid if the osteodermal rings reflect annual periods, as they do in modern crocodilians. According to Schwimmer, the growth ring patterns observed in Dinosuchus could have been affected by a variety of factors, including migrations of their prey, wet dry seasonal climate variations, or oceanic circulation and nutrient cycles. If the ring cycle was biannual instead of annual, that might indicate that Dinosuchus grew faster than modern crocodilians and had a similar maximum lifespan. Section 3. Discovery and Naming In 1854, 
Geologist Ebenezer Emmons described two large fossil teeth found in Bladen County, North Carolina. Emmons assigned these teeth to Polyipchodon, which he then believed to be a genus of crocodilian reptiles. Later discoveries showed that Polyipchodon was actually a pliosaur, a type of marine reptile. The teeth described by Emmons were thick, slightly curved, and covered with vertically grooved enamel. He assigned them to a new species name, P. rugosus. Although not initially re recognised as such, these teeth were probably the first Dinosuchus remains to be scientifically described. Another large tooth that likely came from Dinosuchus, discovered in neighbouring Sampson County, was named Polydects bitergidus by Edward Drinker Cope in 1869. In 1903, at Willow Creek in Montana, several fossil osteoderms were discovered lying upon the surface of the soil by John Bell Hatcher and T.W. Stanton. These osteoderms were initially attributed to the ankylosaurid dinosaur Eurocephalus. Excavation at the site, carried out by W.H. Utterback, yielded further fossils, including additional osteoderms as well as vertebra, ribs and the pubis. When these specimens were examined, it became clear that they belonged to a large crocodilian and not a dinosaur. Upon learning this, Hatcher immediately lost interest in the material. After Hatcher died in 1904, his colleague W.J. Holland studied and described the fossils. Holland assigned these species to a new genus and species, Dinosuchus hatcheri, in 1909. Dinosuchus comes from the Greek dinos, meaning terrible, and sukos, meaning crocodile. A 1940 expedition by the American Museum of Natural History yielded more fossils of giant crocodilians, this time from Big Bend National Park in Texas. These specimens were described by Edward H. Colbert and Richard T. Bird in 1954 under the name Phobosuchus riograndensis. Donald Byrd and Jack Horner later assigned the Big Bend remains to Dinosuchus, which has been accepted by most modern authorities. The genus name Phobosuchus, which was initially created by Baron Franz Nopsker in 1924, has since been discarded because it contained a variety of different crocodilian species that turned out not to be closely related to each other. The American Museum of Natural History incorporated the skull and jaw fragments into a plaster restoration, modelled after the present-day Cuban crocodile. Colbert and Bird stated that this was a conservative reconstruction, since an even greater length could have been obtained if a long-scaled modern species such as the saltwater crocodile had been used as a template. Because it was not then known that Dinosuchus had a broad snout, Colbert and Bird miscalculated the proportions of the skull and the reconstruction greatly exaggerated its overall width and length. Despite its inaccuracies, the reconstructed skull became the best known specimen of Dinosuchus and brought public attention to this giant crocodilian for the first time. Numerous additional specimens of Dinosuchus were discovered over the next several decades. Most were quite fragmentary, but they expanded knowledge of the giant predator's geographic range. As noted by Christopher A. Brocku, the osteoderms are distinctive enough that even bone granola can adequately confirm the presence of Dinosuchus. Better cranial material was also found. By 2002, David R. Schwimmer was able to create a composite computer reconstruction of 90% of the skull. Section 4. Classification Dinosuchus was classified in the family Crocodilidae by Colbert and Bird, primarily on the basis of dental features, resembling those of modern crocodiles. However, a phylogenetic re-evaluation conducted in 1999 by Brocku determined that Dinosuchus was actually a primitive member of Alligatoridae. Thus, Dinosuchus is not the world's largest crocodile, it is one of the largest alligators. 
This classification was bolstered in 2005 by the discovery of a well-preserved Dinosuchus brain case from the Blufftown Formation of Alabama, which shows some features reminiscent of those in the modern American alligator. Although it was a prehistoric member of the same clade, Dinosuchus was not a direct ancestor of modern alligators. Its closest relatives may have been Lydosuchus and Diplocynodon. Schwimmer, 2002, considered all Dinosuchus specimens to belong to one species. He noted that there were more similarities than differences between the eastern and western populations, and that most of these differences related only to the larger size of the western specimens. Under the International Code of Zoological Nomenclature's Rules of Priority, this species would be named D. rugosus. Lucas et al. 2006 also considered Dinosuchus a monospecific genus. However, Brocku 2003 questioned Schwimmer's analysis, suggesting that size might be a significant diagnostic feature and that several of the features used by Swimmer to determine synonymy between the two populations are actually primitive traits shared by other genera as well. Schwimmer, 2002, informally referred to the Western populations as the Rio Grandensis, and several other researchers, including Anglin and Lehman, 2000, and Western et al., 2006, have also recently assigned Western Dinosuchus remains to this species. Section 5. See also. This section suggests some Wikipedia articles for reading. The suggested articles are Sarcosuchus, Stomatosuchus. Section 6. References. There are references available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or by cross-referencing the information yourself. We now come to the end of the spoken article, Dinosuchus. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License available at creativecommons.org.